Hello everyone, this is our industrial electronics lab. Today we will perform a new experiment. The aim of the experiment is to study the resistance capacitance triggering circuit of SCR full wave. As you know, SCR is silicon control rectifier. The apparatus required for this experiment is resistance 560 ohm breadboard TSO digital storage oscilloscope and Scientec 2712 lab trainer key. This one is Scientec 2712 lab trainer key. This kit is used for multi-purpose. Okay, it has power device like SCR, MOSFET, IGBT, UZT, PUT, direct track, and it has also DC power supply and AC power supply. Okay. This this one is circuit of RC full wave triggering. Here we have used four diode, which is act as a big bridge circuit diode 1, diode 2, diode 3, and diode 4, which is 1 and 4007. RL resistance, which is 1K, potentiometer 1 mega ohm, 560 ohm, capacitor 0.1 microfarad, and this is SCR2P4M. And not get hot and get. So, first of all, for the positive half cycle, for the positive half cycle, this one will be positive and this one will be negative. Then a positive voltage will be appeared at the anode of D1, and the negative voltage will be appeared at the cathode of D2 here. Then D1 and D2 will be in the forward bias. Okay. Current will pass through this D1, then RL resistance, then here. Okay. Then positive will be appeared here and negative voltage will be appeared here. Okay. Due to the forward bias, current will flow through this path and also passes through this and a positive voltage will be appeared at this point and negative voltage will appear at this point okay uh, initially this uh, scr is in forward blocking mode scr will be in forward conduction mode when we have applied a gate voltage here okay so current will pass through this potentiometer and 560 ohm okay then polarity of this capacitor will be positive and negative okay the capacitor will be charges during the positive half cycle and once it exit the minimum gate voltage then it will turn on this scr okay according to this resistance and capacitance okay now for the negative half cycle this will become negative and this will become positive okay then a positive voltage will appear at d3 and negative voltage will appear at d4 okay and a positive will be positive voltage will appear at the anode of D3 and negative voltage will appear at the cathode of D, D4. Then also it will act as a forward bias. Okay, again same uh, circle repeated. Current will flow through this direction and passes through RL resistance. Then there is positive voltage will appear at anode of this SCR and negative voltage will appear at the cathode of this SCR and current will pass does not pass through this SCR because of this SCR is in forward blocking mode the current will pass through this potentiometer and charges the capacitor capacitor polarity is positive and negative once the capacitor uh, charges and volt the capacitor voltage will exit the minimum gate voltage in that time the SCR will turn on okay this is the whole con whole procedure of RC half full wave triggering okay now see here expected wave from 
initially we have applied the sine wave as an input then for the full wave we have get this activator output for the positive half cycle see here for the positive half cycle we are getting this output and for the negative half cycle it is also in the positive forward bias so that we are getting this type of output like this this is the full wave rectifier not t guard okay now this is the alpha after triggering we will get the output voltage at rl and waveform is like this this angle can be changed by changing the resistance of this potentiometer it can be start from here also can be start from here this portion is this portion is used for let's say here this portion is used for capacitor charging first capacitor start charging then discharges charging then this one is triggered okay so this is the practical circuit diagram according to the circuit we have connected the diodes see here diode d this one diode d1 d2 d3 and a d4 okay it is acts as a bridge circuit now this one rl resistance which is 1k this is potentiometer 1 mega ohm and this one is resistance 560 ohm okay we have applied the 15 volt ac supply at diode d1 and negative is connected to the diode d2 okay this is the circuit diagram now i'm turning on this supply see here this is dso okay this one is dso probe now dso probe is connected to this dso probe is connected across the load resistance okay and now auto scale it okay this is our output this output can be changed the firing angle can be changed by the varying the potentiometer see here i am i am varying this pot resistance of this potentiometer and see firing firing angle is changing accordingly here okay so this is the real output at load resistance okay stop button now go to the measure then turn on display these are the reading v max v min vpp you can note down this reading from here also you can trace this output wave from from here okay so this is our rc full wave triggering using scr okay see here this is the output you can trace trace it down Thank you.